another day, another toy. Hey guys, welcome to this FH10 Deep Cool Fan Hub unboxing. We're going to get right into it today and take it out. If you find yourself with too many fans in your case and know where to plug them in, you'll probably need one of these. Comes in this really cool sky blue box. Uh, Deep Cool boasts a maximum of 10 fans powered simultaneously through SATA power and identification of fan speeds as well through a controller, which is pretty cool. Very catching box, very interesting. We're not really gonna look too much into it today. Uh, we're gonna have a look at the inclusions inside and things have been packaged quite simply. I wish it was cardboard, but they used a lot of plastics in this. It comes with this little Velcro, which is really cool. So you've got to find a place in your case to stick things on. So somewhere that's appropriate. You have the SATA power connector, so you'll need to route a cable from your power supply and uh, like to the back of your case where you'll be able to connect this. And then you have this little connector here which connects into your hub. So just keep that in mind as we go on. We have this, I'm guessing this is a form of controller, maybe for RGB or fan speeds, but I kind of like things to be running at 100% anyway, so I'm probably not really gonna connect that. I'm gonna check that out, we don't need that anymore. Let's gonna have a look at the deep cool device. So this is the controller. I bought this one because it comes with a really cool little light down the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the back of my case, I've got glass and it, it looks kind of weird with all the cables, even though they're managed well. So this little blue light stands out a lot. Here are the five ports on each side. Uh, very simple to connect. You've got the, I guess it's a LED or I don't know what type of connector up top. Down the bottom, you've got the power. On the back, you've got a, a space for the Velcro. So this is where you stick the Velcro and each fan is labeled individually. Anyway, we're gonna go to our case and we're gonna have a look real quick. I'm gonna see, I'm at a bit of an awkward, very awkward angle at the moment, but there is our device. We're gonna see if we can put it in and locate the power, which is the most important thing. So I've put the little Velcro strap. I don't know if you can tell in the back, I've kind of found a really good position and I'm gonna to try to plug all of my cables in. I've already done the cable management, so I've routed everything correctly. So I've got cables coming from the left and right side. First thing I'm gonna do is just uh, plug in the power right away. Try to plug things in before you um, mount the device, otherwise it's a total nightmare, especially if you're working at a kind of a bit of an awkward angle, it's gonna be quite hard. Don't worry about not um, seeing where you're plugging things in as the fan connectors themselves, they have like a little bit of a lisp. And, uh, you know, even if you can't see, like in my case, I've got a bit, a bit of an awkward angle. There's only really one position that they fit in, so you can't really mess it up. So don't worry about it too much. I'm gonna see if I can plug all of them in. Again, I'm at a bit of an awkward angle because the camera is underneath me and I'm kind of like kneeling and trying to put it in. So I can't actually see what's happening, but Luckily, uh, this uh, hub has been designed so well that, you know, it's basically just fiddle around until things uh, just plug and play. As you can see, it just clicks into place. There's no drama. And if you happen to put it in the wrong position, it's just not going to go in. So, you know, it'll make you put it in the right position. There you go. Absolute professional. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can attach it to the Velcro and then just kind of mess with the cables a little bit, make sure things are nice and position it so it's kind of in the middle. You know, have a look on your in your case, you know, and you guys will probably find a better spot to mount it, but I found this one to be convenient for my usage case, and it looks pretty cool in the back. In a moment, we're gonna turn on the computer and see what happens. Hopefully things won't blow up and actually work, and here we have it. All the lights are on from the top side and the front side. So there you go, guys. A very nice little device. Very useful. And I highly recommend this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.